is up? Welcome back to another video. I'm CuteDolphin954 and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a GFX using Cinema 4D. So, let's begin. First thing we're going to do is go into Roblox Studio. And to do so, all you have to do is click Create on the top of your screen. And then you can edit a game that you already have or create a new one. So, I'm already in Roblox Studio. And now you're going to get your load character plugin. So, all you have to do to get that if you don't already have it is go into your toolbox by going to View and then click Toolbox. And then go over here where it says Models and go to plugins, then search up load character. And then there's one that's right here. You can get the second one that's load character light and it's free and you can just use that one. So once you get it, you can go ahead and click it, load character, and then import your, your character. So I'm Dolphinix, so you search up your username and say Dolphinix spawn R6. Boom, here it is. Now if you wanna add a custom face, you can do so. Now you're going to right click your character, go to export selection, then save it to a folder. So I'll be calling it Dolphinix Tutorial C4D. Now you're going to go ahead and open up C4D, so I'll put the link in the description. Alright, so now I'm in C4D and it should look like something like this. And then you're going to open up a Lightroom, so you're going to go to File, Open, and then you can open a Lightroom. I'll put a Lightroom in the description down below. Here it is, C4D Lightroom. Then it should look like this. Now you wanna to go to file again and click merge. And then you're gonna search up um, Dolphinix tutorial C4D and there it is. I don't know what you called it, but whatever you called it, it'll show up like that. Then you're gonna open it and do these exact same settings. So go to scale and make it 100. Make the phone angle or whatever that says to zero. Turn off import, import invert transparency and then make sure it says flip z-axis make sure your settings are exactly like mine and then you, if you want you can save it as a preset so then you don't have to set it every time and then yeah boom so now press ok and if it's not already in front of you to move around you have to click the buttons on the top of your screen so this is like a free move and then this is moving back and forth this is to rotate and then this is to see all the different things so let's go back into here and look for the character. There it is, and it has a weird, it has a different texture on it because I did that texture before. But to change the texture and put on the right thing, go down here to the little circles, click where it says Dolphinix, go to color, go to text PNG, and search up your username, Dolphinix, and then find the right texture. So I believe this is the one. Should be. Then click yes, and then boom. Then turn off transparency and turn off reflectance. Now go over here to editor, click default and click no scaling and now it looks a bit more normal. After that, click all of your body parts and keep your accessories and delete all of your body parts. Then go over here to your little menu and click the top of your, like click the first top one X and then hold shift and click the last one. Then right click and say connect objects plus delete. And boom, here it is. So now you're gonna open your rig. So to do that, file, oops, uh-oh, <laughs> almost, okay. File, open, rig, or whatever you saved it to. And then I'll put this rig in the description too. And it's a blocky character rig, and you're gonna open it and click this. Then it should appear right over there. And you're gonna drag your character, I mean, drag your accessories down so it can go right near it. And to teleport to your item, click S on your keyboard. So now you're going to go ahead and delete the soldier's cap. And then delete it over here where it says the soldier 1 texture. Then where it says change, you're going to double click it. Click color. Then change the texture PNG. So go to your folder where you saved your character previously. And search up your username. And then boom, there's a texture. Then say yes. And there it is. Then turn off reflectance. Now you're gonna click it where it says neural rig and then click rotation and make it 180. And if you wanna rotate it the other way, you can just go over here with the tools on the top of your screen. But this is more precise. Then you're gonna move it down your accessories right to your head. I mean, right to your rig. Try to make it as best as you can. All 
All right, that looks decent. So once you have it like that, you're gonna go over here to the Neuro Rig, click the little plus symbol, then click plus on the attachments. Then make sure you you have your name of your um, accessories thing, like where it says Doc One X tutorial. Then drag this under head attachments. Then when you move your head, it'll also be connected with the accessories. So let's begin posing. To do that, you can click where it has green, and then you can move it if you want. You can scale it down if you want to for some reason, or you can rotate it. Boom. So I'll start with a simple pose that won't be too hard to do. So I'll begin. And boom, there it is. So now, I think it's good and I want to render it. So to do so, if you want to see how it looks before actually rendering, you can click render view. And that's how it looks. So I like that, I'm fine with that. Maybe I'll move this over a second. I mean, a little bit. Now let's see. All right, I like that. So now you're gonna go to render settings, and go to save, make it 16 bit channel. Um, and then go to, make sure it's PNG and then yeah. Now we're gonna save it to a folder. So you're gonna click this, save it to a folder. So I'll be calling it tutorial render. And then you can exit out. Now you can render it. Say you don't like that, you can easily exit out. Move forward, maybe. Change your pose, whatever you wanna do. So I'm just gonna move like this. And then you're gonna render it again. And then if you have to overwrite it, say yeah. Okay, so I like how that rendered, I like that a lot. So then I'm gonna go into Photoshop. You can use whatever editing program you want to to edit, if you even wanna edit. And then I'm gonna do Control O, Blender Savings, Tutorial, and then here it is. Then you can edit it however you want. I'm probably not gonna right now, but yeah. So if this tutorial helped you, remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'm almost at 330 subs, literally. I'm at 329. So thank you for all the support recently. I'm gonna keep on making videos. Sorry I haven't done it in like two weeks, but I'll still be making videos. And yeah, have a good day. Peace out.